Hey everybody, my name is Eric Winter. I'm the Senior Vice President and General Manager of UFC Fight Pass. Um, I'd like to announce some really important uh, moves for the UFC Fight Pass product. Um, I'm here to announce that uh, UFC Fight Pass is partnering with the Glory the Glory team, Glory Super Fight Series. Uh, Glory is the greatest kickboxing organization um, in the industry right now. And in addition, uh, Glory also owns the greatest library for kickboxing from K1. Um, in addition, uh, why are we here? We're here for the Silva Bisping fight. We're here for the great, um, obviously, the workout. to do some interviews for all of our friends here in the U United States on the and on the West Coast. But most importantly is that with Glory, we're going to be throwing the first ever Glory Super Fight Series live and, event, uh, live and exclusive on UFC Fight Pass the night before Silva Bisping. It's really important for us. Uh, every Glory Super Fight Series is going to have a title fight, at least one title fight. However, the first event on February 26th will be uh, headlined by the number one contender, Joe Schilling. And we're really excited for that. We're really excited to have kickboxing as a part of UFC Fight Pass. In addition, we are proud to announce that UFC Fight Pass is also partnering with the Eddie Bravo Invitational. So we are now extending our brand to the disciplines of mixed martial art. And we're gonna partner with Eddie Bravo and the Eddie Bravo Invitational. We're gonna have five live streaming events um, for the Eddie Bravo Invitational in 2016. We're really excited. I couldn't be more proud to partner with uh, the Eddie Bravo Invitational and with the team at Glory. Um, we're super excited. Any questions? Yeah, I mean, what does this mean for the future? It's the first time when we're seeing, like you said, the, the disciplines of mixed martial arts. Is this kind of where you're at and see how it goes now? Or are you still aggressively pursuing? Could we see other brands as well? What do you think this means? We have a really, really engaged team back in Las Vegas. We go out and we vet the greatest MMA organizations from a state level, a country level, and a regional level. And we're not done. We have a lot of homework to do. We feel that we know the industry inside and out. And we're gonna continue partnering with the best MMA organizations in the world. But right now, we're sitting at 10,000 video assets. By the end of 2016, we're gonna be at 20,000 MMA video assets. That's a combination of events, individual fights, original programming. And the team, the great team, all my colleagues back at uh, UFC headquarters in Vegas felt it was time to go into the individual branches of MMA. And there's no finer organization uh, than Glory on the kickboxing side, K1, and certainly with Eddie Bravo. Everyone knows who Eddie Bravo is. One of the most important brands and one of the most important names in all of jiu-jitsu. We're friends with Eddie Bravo. He's been training some of the best UFC athletes and MMA athletes around the world. And it's an honor for us to be partnering with, with them, uh, with Eddie Bravo and Glory. You know, for a lot of you who don't know or haven't been around uh, kickboxing, like, and if you don't know a lot about me, I've been involved in the sport of MMA and kickboxing for a really long time. The first K-1 event that I went to was in 2003, back at the Mirage, uh, pardon me, it was Bellagio, uh, and it was the K-1 uh, event, the K-1, the World Series at K-1, when Carter Williams came out of nowhere, and he shocked the world. I believe it was Dewey Cooper that he beat in the finals, and I think it was Rick Rufus that he beat in the semifinals. So it's been a long progression uh, for not just the executives at UFC, uh, but for our customers as well. They know the sport inside and out, and for us to extend our brand uh, beyond MMA in general, uh, we're certainly excited and you couldn't do any better than it may, Glory. It may be too early for you to know this because I know it's a process, but as far as ingesting their libraries, do you know when fans can expect to start seeing that online? So it's a great question. It, it's a daunting task. You know, when we go out and we acquire libraries and we do press conferences and we announce we've got X amount of hours. Well, for Glory, in the, in the case of Glory and K1, we've got 2,000 hours. Well, we've learned a lot now than we did 12 months ago when we first started announcing. So I'm going to answer your question two ways. Number one, we are going to have Glory content live in the week leading up to the Glory event on February 26th. But when you're talking about, you know, uh, QCing, that's quality control, we're sending teams around the world to, to do a lot of quality control on all these libraries that we acquire. And then what we have to do is we work with teams around the country that ingest and they qualify and they upload our content. And it takes a lot to, in order to get one fight up online. Uh, we're learning every single day. 
But remember what I said earlier, currently we have 10,000 video assets now. By the end of the year, we'll be at 20,000. But it is our goal for every single organization that we partner with to always have some content live as they uh, we roll them out on UFC Fight Pass. Are you going to have new control over the programming of this, the actual shows now? You're talking about quality control. Are you going to take over the broadcast, or is it what Glory's already doing and then you're just putting it on Fight Pass? It will have the, the Zufa thumbprint, you know what I mean? So I'll answer your question that it won't have the Zufa thumbprint because the men and women who've already vetted these fine organizations have done the homework. We have confidence in their brands and we have confidence in how they operate as a live event and we certainly have the confidence that they know how to distribute. We look at ourselves as a distribution platform and for you know the casual audience out there, UFC Fight Pass is the Netflix for the fighting business. If you want you know, to, to consume original programming or some of the best content that's been around forever, whether it's content that our parents watched or if it's content that's being created theatrically or on television, you certainly go to Netflix. Well, if you're a fight fan, if you're an MMA fan, if you're a fan of the disciplines of MMA, you need to go to UFC Fight Pass. This may be as open for, you know, big judo event, big wrestling need other disciplines down the road potentially? Dave, it's a great question. The door is now wide open. But we want to do it one at a time. It is our responsibility to ensure that Glory has the best representation. We distribute it properly. And the same with the Eddie Bravo Invitational. Once we feel comfortable, then we're going to go discipline by discipline. Last question. For the Eddie Bravo Invitationals, is it possible you might coordinate to where the invitation will be held in the same city as some of the UFC uh, fights? It's a great question. We're thinking about that. And I'll let you know when we're ready to announce something. Thank you, everyone. Hi, and if, Eddie, get off. No. You're done. You're done. no one wants to talk to him anyway. We're here to talk about Eric Winter versus Mike Bisping. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, like it is. Thank you, buddy. Thanks, man.